Hello, this is Mr. Noisy and I am about to read a story about myself. Okay, here we go. Mr. Noisy was a very, very noisy person indeed. For example, if Mr. Noisy was reading his story to you, like I am, he will be shouting at the top of his voice. And the top of Mr. Noisy's voice is a very loud place indeed. You can hear it a hundred miles away. For example, when most people sneeze, you can hear them in the next room but ah, 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 When Mr. Noisy sneezes, you can hear him in the next room. Now this story starts when Mr. Noisy was asleep in bed in his bedroom in his house, which is on top of the hill. He was snoring, and as you can well imagine, when Mr. Noisy snores, that is a snore worth hearing. It sounds more like a herd of elephants than a snore. <coughs> then Mr. Noisy's alarm clock went off. Mr. Noisy's alarm clock sounds like no other alarm clock in the world. It sounds more like a fire engine. Mr. Noisy woke up, and, and so did all the people who lived in Wobble Town, which is at the bottom of Mr. Noisy's hill. Later that day, Mr. Noisy decided that he had to go shopping. He went out of his house, shutting the door behind him. Bang! The door wobbled, the house wobbled, the whole hill wobbled. Wobble town wobbled, even a bird flying high wobbled. Then Mr. Noisy walked down the hill. Crash with the door he shut. Crash with the door he shut. Bang with the door he shut. I like a loaf of bread, boomed Mr. Noisy. And Mrs. Crumb, the baker's wife. Mrs. Crumb trembled. She saw him on the bottom. Then Mr. Noisy walked along the street to the butcher. He walked into the butcher shop. Crash with the door he opened. Bang with the door he shut. I'd like a piece of meat, boomed Mr. Noisy to Mr. Bacon the butcher. Mr. Bacon trembled and sold him some meat. <coughs> Afterwards, Mrs. Crumb met Mr. Bacon in the street. We really must do something about Mr. Noisy being so noisy. Yeah, that's me, she said. Absolutely replied, Mr. Bacon, but what? I know, said Mrs. Crumb, and she whispered into Mr. Bacon's ear. <sighs> Mr. Bacon's mother, small smile which grew to a broad grin. Mrs. Crumley said, I think you have the answer. <sighs> oh, 
the following day, Mr. Noisy again went shopping down the well with us. He went into Mrs. Crumb's shop. I'd like a loaf of bread, he boomed. Sorry, what did you say? S. Oh, Mrs. Crumb pretending not to hear. I'd like a loaf of bread, Mr. Noisy shouted. Sorry, said Mrs. Crumb, putting her hand to her ear. Could you speak up, please? I'd like a loaf of bread, roared Mr. Noisy. <coughs> Can't hear you, replied Mrs. Crumb. Mr. Noisy gave up and he went out. Mr. Noisy went into Mr. Bacon's shop. I'd like a piece of meat, he boomed. Mr. Bacon pretended not to notice. I'd like a piece of meat, Mr. Noisy shouted. Did you say something? asked Mr. Bacon. I said I'd like a piece of meat, roared Mr. Roared Mr. Noisy. Pardon, said Mr. Bacon. Mr. Noisy gave up and he went up and went home and he went to bed hungry. The day after Mr. Noisy tried again, he went into Mrs. Crumb's shop. I'd like a loaf of bread, he boomed. A what? asked Mrs. Crumb. <sighs> Mr. Noisy started shouting at the top of his lungs. A loaf of, and then he stopped and then he thought and then he said quietly, I'd like a loaf of bread, please, Mrs. Crumb. Mrs. Crumb smiled circulation. Then Mr. Noisy went into Mr. Bacon's shop. I'd like a piece of meat, he boomed. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, did you say something, asked Mr. Bacon? Yes, I did, shouted Mr. Noisy at the top of his voice. I said I'd like a, and then he stopped. <clears throat> and then he thought, and then he said quietly, I'd like a piece of meat, please, Mr. Bacon. Mr. Bacon smiled my pleasure, he said. So carrying his bread and meat, Mr. Noisy set off home up the hill. Then he stopped. Then he thought and then I didn't know what he did. Tiptoe. A tiptoe was something Mr. Noisy had never tried before. It was fun. <laughs> Mr. Noisy arrived at his front door. He put out his hand to open the door and then he stopped and then he thought. And then do you know what he did? <sighs> <sighs> He opened the door very quietly. He stepped inside and then he shut the door very gently. <coughs> quietly and gently, which are things Mr. Noisy had never 
tried before you did. <coughs> that was fun too. And do you know something from then until now? Mr. Noisy isn't anything like as noisy as he used to be. And if you know something else, the people love with that are delighted. Especially Mrs. Crumb and Mr. Bacon. And do you know something else? <sighs> Mr. Noisy has learned how to whisper. Hey, <laughs> you <laughs>